Assalamu alaikum students, and welcome to Business Studies class. Today we are going to look at the uh, preparation of petty cash book. If you remember in our last topic we discussed petty cash book. We look at the meaning and the items or columns on the petty cash book. We also look at the person in charge and the book used for recording petty items in the organization. Now today we are going to look at the practical aspect of it, how to prepare the petty cash book. Now, for you to prepare a petty cash book, you need the following items. That is this information, which you are going to post into the petty cash account. Now, and for your petty cash book, you have to rule it this way and divide it into two. We have the debit side and the credit side. At the debit side of the petty cash book, we have the amount received, date, particular, voucher number, and total account. And the credit side of it, it's called the analysis column, where we have some columns with some headings there. We have stationery, transport, postage, uh, refreshments, and sundry expenses. Here are the analysis columns. Now, this item, we are going to put them one after the other into the petty, into the petty cash flow. For example, you can see it on February. Look at the question. They enter the following transaction in the petty cash book of Isa Mena, having analysis column, columns for stationery, transport, postage, refreshment, and sundry expenses. Now, the columns there have been given. So, all we need to do is just to post them to the analysis column, as you can see there. Now, this transaction is this transaction was carried out in the month of February by a petty cashier. And on February 1st, the petty cashier received uh, 18,000 naira from the main cashier. This 18,000 18, naira will be used to make payment for minor expenses. And that is exactly what the petty cashier did here. Throughout the month of February, she paid for the following items here. Now, in posting them, we we'll start with the amount received, which is the cash float, 18,000 naira. We post it under this amount received here. As you can see, this is 18,000 naira. This is the amount given to the petty cashier to make payment for minor items in the organization. Now, on February 3rd, paid for office pay, paid for office pay, fee, money. Off for, she paid for office pay, as you can see here. That is voucher number one, and the amount is 1,000 naira. And on February 4th, she paid for envelopes, you can see it, quarter number two, 3,000 naira. On April 4th, on April 9th, bus fare, she paid for bus fare, which is 4,000 naira. You can see it here, bus fare. This is voucher number three, the amount is 4,000 naira. And on February 12th, she paid for office tea, which is 800 naira. You can see how we record it here, April 12th, office tea. Write it here under the, the name of the item paid for its office tea. Write it under the particular, and this is the date. This is the voucher number, which is number four, and this is the amount involved 800 naira. Now, on February 14, three things you pay for two things of me, which is 500 naira. You can see it February 14, three things of me, voucher number five, the amount is 500 naira. On April 20th, toilet soup which is 1,500. April 20, she paid for toilet soap. Voucher number six, the amount is 1,500. And on April 22, she paid for petrol, which is 3,000 naira. You can see how we record it here, February 22, under the date, and the, amount, the name of the item is petrol. You can see written under the particular, and this is voucher number seven, and the amount involved is 3,000 naira. And the last transaction there, which was carried out in the month in the, in the, on the 26th of February, he said he paid for stamps, which is uh, 1,000 naira. So look at it here. That is the last transaction here in the month of February, which is stamp. You can see the date here, February 26th. You can see the name of the item he paid for on that day, which is stamp. And this is the voucher number for it, the voucher number eight. And that is the amount here. This is the amount involved here, which is 1,000 naira. Now, when we are having posted this into the debit side, we are going to transfer all these items under the 
correct heading in the analysis column. You can see it will start with the first item which was carried out on February 3rd. Office pin, which is water number one, is 1000 naira. Now, this office pin, where will it fall? Is it under stationery? Is it transport? Is it postage? Is it refreshment? Is it sundry expenses? So, we must know the correct heading before we post it. So, as you all know, we use office pin in the office, and these are part of the minor items that we will purchase in the office, and this fall under stationery. So, we are going to post it under the Stationary. So we have the amount here, which is there, 1,000 naira stationary. So now the next one is envelope. Envelope, we, also, we use it also in the office, and it is for posting or for posting letters. So this one, we are going to put it under postage. Here, the amount involved is. 3,000 naira. So we write it on that postage here. Yeah? Then we have the next item which is box pay. Now on the amount involved here is 4,000 naira. This one will fall under transport which is 4,000 naira. Now the next one is the office tea. Where will this fall to? This office tea will fall under which heavy class? This will fall under refreshment. So, and the amount above is there, 800. So, we write it here. Then we have three things of pig. You no, know, before you prepare your tea, you need meat also. So, this will also fall under refreshment. So, this is 500 naira. Now, we have toilet soap. The toilet soap will not fall under stationery. It's not for transport, it's not for postage to refreshment. This will fall under sundry expenses. And the amount involved is 1,500. Yes, I see. So, we have the next item, which is petrol. Now, the petrol, as we all know, will fall under, is for, this will fall under transport, transport which is 3,000. Nine. So, and we have the last item here. Stamp. You all know what to use it for. Fix it on our envelope. So this will automatically fall under postage. So write it here, which is a one thousand naira. Now, having transfer all these items under the correct heading, we must total them and bring down their balances. So here we have only one thousand naira. Bring down the 1000 naira here and then we rule two lines under it to show that we have this one to show that we are through with this calculation of this. Now, here we have 4000 and 3000. We have to calculate them and bring down the total. We have 4000 plus 3000. This will give us 7000. So, we also we are done with this. We rule two lines under it. Then we have 3,000 here and 1,000 naira here. This will give us 4,000 naira. So we we'll rule it twice too. Then here we have 800 plus 500. This will give us then 1,300. 1,300. So we we'll rule on the total too. And here we have only 1,500. Bring it down here. So now we are done with our analysis column. We have no business with this again. We have printed out the total. So the next, we, we are done with this. So the next thing is for us to look at the total account, calculate it, and bring down all the total. So we have here 1,000 plus 3,000. This will give us 4,000 plus another 4,000, 8,000. 8,000 plus 800, that's 8,800. 8,800 plus 500 will give us a 9,300. 9,300 plus 150, this will give us 10,800. Now, 10,800 plus 3,000, this will give us 13,800. 13,800 plus 1,000, this will give us a 14,800. This will give us 14,800. So, this is the amount of money spent by the petty cashier. 
out of the 18,000 naira given to her. Now we have to bring this total, this total here, we minus it from the actual amount given to her at the beginning of the month, which is 18,000. So we bring 18,000 naira down, minus 14,000. So for us to know how much we have, now we have seen how much Petita she has spent out of 18,000. Let's know how much is left with her. We have, okay, so this is 800. Zero, zero, zero. Here, we have to, anyone here, you can tell, minus this two. So here we have seven. Seven minus this will give us three. This minus this zero. So we have. 3,200. So the amount that is left with the credit cash is 3,200. And this is this. And, and, and for her to start making payment for items, minor items again in the subsequent one, she's going to be giving 14,800. To balance out with this 3,200. 3, and this is what we call reimbursement. Okay? So this is how to prepare. A petty cash flow. It's very, it's very easy once you know how to transfer your items. You won't have a problem with the calculation. So, this is how much is left with. This is how much you have spent, and this is what is there left with. She's left with. So, when you total this to give us another 18,000 altogether. So, now this is this is all about uh, the preparation of petty cash flow. I want you to go through it very well and look at how to prepare it. Thank you very much. To meet again, to meet again in our next class. Now from this item you can see here, hunger we have the items on the analysis column where we have postage, stationery, transport, refreshment, and so on. Thank you very much.